Are you looking for some inspiration to jazz up your STEM experiences? Well, check out these 15 cool Makey Makey project ideas that you can use with your group of learners. Each idea is ready to rock and roll with guides on the Instructables website. Coming up for you in just a moment. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer, and on this channel, I make how-to coding videos for curious educators and learners. If you're digging this content and you're new around here, then consider hitting that subscribe button. Inspiration for this video came from a Makey Makey blog article, which you can find in the description below, and that's on the 2020 Ambassadors. The other day, I had the pleasure of digitally meeting some of these ambassadors, as well as Tom and Colleen from Joy Labs. I felt so inspired by the work that's out there that I just had to share it. Remember, if you sparked an idea, just check out the show notes down below because I'll link to every project that is covered in this video. There's quite a few ambassadors and quite a few projects to get through, so consider this a part one. All right, let's zoom around the world and check out some cool Makey Makey project ideas. To kick things off, we're gonna start in Melbourne, which is pretty close to where I'm located. From here, we're gonna head over to Vittoria in Sicily, Italy, and that's where Maria is located. Maria's got a cool project that uses water to make a makey makey piano. She's used this with seven year olds. Let's go take a peek at one of their demos. I love that Maria has filmed each step with her group of learners. Although the videos are in Italian, her guides are in English. Love it. Next up, we're heading over to the States, to North Liberty, and that's where Amber is. The project that Amber has for us is a game buzzer system that can be used with two or more people. This is one of those ideas that can be applied to any learning area. I've had plans to create a quiz in Scratch that students can code. You could even extend this out to multiple choice questions for each player. Absolutely love it. Next up, we're still in the States, and that's where we're heading to Houston, and that's where Kimberly is. She's been using Makey Makey for over four years, and it's still her most used and versatile resource. She's got a museum-style implementation where students research the figure and use recyclable materials to construct them. I just love the overlap of learning areas of this project. You can really bring any subject to life, promote research, create an artifact, present to your audience. I'm sure the students love this. Now we head to a tiny town in the States. I think you see this Oneida, and that's where Jennifer is. Jennifer has gone ahead and made some game controllers with her students. I love this project because it promotes the user experience. What do I need to have success with GameX? How can I design it? What's cool is you can plug and play your controller into any keyboard or mouse style game. Next up, we're heading back to Australia, over to Perth in Western Australia, where there are some serious waves, none of which I've surfed, but that's where we have Simon. Simon's got a project for us, the Makey Makey Exit Ticket Data Collector. Who doesn't love a bit of data? Students can interact with some visual buttons that tell the educator how they're feeling at the end of a lesson. Another one of those low floor, high ceiling tasks. As Simon mentions, you can link this up to Excel and display graphs. Even the students can use this as a means of collecting and displaying data. Maybe even in real time too. How cool. Okay, next up, we're heading back over to the States, and that's where we'll find Kathleen in Arlington. She's the creator of Scratch Pals. Be sure to check out her site as there's some sweet content on there. In a project that spanned over a week, Kathleen and her group of learners created a morning news show, and that's where they featured the Makey Makey, as well as using it to control the slides of the PowerPoint. I love the idea of customizing the Makey Makey, being used as a controller to fit your own needs. What's more is I love the narrative nature of this project that plays into meeting the needs of its audience. Next up, we're up to Suva in Fiji, and that's where we'll find Matthew. They've also got some pretty gnarly waves there in Fiji. Matthew's got interactive posters to share with us. Interactive posters bring research content to life by asking viewers to interact with its content. Another one of these ideas that has easy portability across heaps of learning areas. I love how Matthew has learners thinking about the design and the presentation as well. Next up, we're back to the States, and that's where we'll find Rebecca in Ashburn. Rebecca's got a Christmas lights project, so she had students using the Makey Makey as a light show for a school performance. There's so much to love about this project, a project that uses the output connections in the Makey Makey. Once the programmable lights are created, students will need to listen to the cues to make the lights synchronize to the music they hear. Hey, this could even be programmed, but that might take some of the fun out of pressing the buttons, I guess. Next up, we're heading to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia, and that's where we'll find Lena. Lena's created a smart racing track with her group of learners. It uses the Makey Makey and Sam Labs tech, along with Scratch, to race a car around the track. I love seeing the amalgamation of different electronic components combining into an artifact. I can see this being used as a board game too. Cool way to get a bit more techy. Okay, we're heading back to the States now, over to Cave Creek, and that's where we'll find Naomi. 
Naomi's project is called Magical Coding Recipes. Man, when I read that, I just want to jump in and do it. Doesn't specifically use the Makey Makey, but it certainly could. What really brings me joy about this project is the strong connection that it makes between algorithms and coding and real world activities such as cooking. I love the multimedia component of this project too. The girls have done a great job. Maybe you could use the Makey Makey to measure water in terms of cups, though kids, computers, and the kitchen are certainly a factor to consider. Let's take a trip to Fayetteville back in the States, and that's where we'll find Carlo. The project here is Light Up Houses. This is where students designed houses to form an illuminated neighborhood in tandem with the Makey Makey. Just love the interdisciplinary thinking here too. And the collaborative nature of the neighborhood. You could have the students even thinking about the needs and the wants of a community. It's such a cool project. We're heading over to Madrid in Spain now, and that's where we'll find Diego. And I gotta thank you, Chrome Browser, for translating Diego's guide for me. Diego's project is about the human body, and that's where students will create a model of the human body with making various body parts and functions interactive. There's so much potential in this one. I can see maths for scale, biology for information, and I'm even thinking about integrating some of the lights from some of the other guides already mentioned. Super cool. Let's head on over to San Jose in Costa Rica, and that's where we're gonna find Chris. Make sure you check out Chris's YouTube channel in the top corner right now. Chris has got the digital orchestra for us. This is where students, I assume, use their favorite food to create an interactive sound piece. When you watch Chris's video, just take a look at the faces of the kids after they explain their project. They're beaming. I love the personalized nature of this project with the kids. I'm gonna jump back to Europe now in Trikala, Greece, and that's where we'll find Eleftheria. Check out Elle's channel in the top corner. The project is about the real solar system, the sun, earth, and the moon. It's where students use Scratch, the Makey Makey, and some craft materials to research and create an interactive experience of the solar system. Amongst all the cool science, this project highlights a core concept in foundational programming, iteration. We can use iteration to loop the sun's satellites around it. Of course, I love the interactive nature of the project as well. Lastly, we're gonna round the trip back home to Australia, but this time in Sydney, and that's where we'll find Helen. Helen's got a Makey Makey portable keyboard that she's used with her group of learners for picture storybooks. Students learn about sounds, pictures and tones and use a picture book to link the sounds to what they see. We've all seen books and cards with sounds, but now we can make our own custom sounds. Not only that, Helen shows us how we can feel and see sounds through colour. Uber cool, and my brain is totally sparking. We're only halfway through the list. I'm sure all these educators would love to connect with you via social media, so be sure to check out their handles on the Makey Makey blog which you're seeing now, link below in the description. It's time for a scratchy question, and I want to know which of these ideas sparked you. Drop your answer in the comment section down below. That's it for part one of Cool Makey Makey Project Ideas on Instructables. If you're feeling inspired, then hit that like button. And if you're loving this content and you're an educator, then consider joining the Surfing Scratcher mailing list. That's where I'll send news and resources straight to your inbox. But until next time, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in the next one.